hi everyone so this video i'm going to explain like how you can create a frosted class effect or you can say liquid class effect on your frame array site using component well uh i will share the remix file of this so you can have this interface and you just need to click on it you can see this is a frosted button component or you can say liquid class effect component so this one actually containing everything here all the uh, like properties controlling everything like you can see here i will come up with it uh, within few minutes and if i click on it i'm going to paste that on a new file that i have created i'm going to click on it click on layout and if i paste that here you will see this one is our new component and i'm going to click on this and I'm going to use it, uh, using this image and copy that and uh, going to paste that here and going to remove everything from here and I'm going to make it a uh, fill it should be viewport and I should unlock that and make it fill again so now you can see it's looking something like this but it's all up to you you can utilize this anywhere you want like i did like this one i have created a card and inside that i have used that and inside that you can see this one is actually a stack version and i am using it as a absolute on the background and the rest of the part will be relative as it is like the layout part so this one as well and yeah this one like you can see so i'm going to create that so you can utilize it this anywhere you want so let me create a diff with this frosted background so i'm going to click on frame and click on layout on this image and it's working as a layout at this moment so if i create a frame here and click on layout and remove the fill so you can see it's looking something like this so i'm going to click on it copy that and paste that here and i'm going to make it absolute and making everything zero so it can containing over it as a fill so it will be responsive based on the like stack sizes and everything so now you can see this one actually using as a background as an absolute and i can make the z index zero and the rest of the part will be one for the z index so i'm going to add some content here like this one i'm going to copy this one and i'm going to paste that inside it so you can see it's now at this moment absolute you can make it relative as well it's all up to you the way you want you can also add text here like uh, this one has this tag of the text you can also add those and if i click on the main stack i can distribute that like a direction so that's how you can do that but let me show you like how you can apply those uh, properties like here you can see there are multiple things i'm not going to use those i have created that so that you can use this as a button as well for the text and typeface and everything so now you can see everything as it is now but this one is important like the overlay one you can make it bright or dark it's all up to you the blur level it's actually the level of the blur and you can also apply the distortion so I'm going to use it uh, between 100 so it's looking something like this now so it's just for a card or div or any section you can apply this anywhere you want like I did here and it's really simple I could create a specific component for the uh, like div or stack so it will work as a stack but that has some limitation for the responsiveness and everything and i found out applying this method will make it more responsive within any screen sizes and everything 
so i will highly recommend you to follow this step or if you want to edit the code like if you want to add multiple properties to control everything you can do that so what you have to do click on it and you can see the frosted button you just need to click on unlink and it will create a code component for you so you can edit that you just need to copy this and come back and you can enable the workshop and ask him anything to make like if you want to add any new properties or feature you just need to tell him and paste the code so that it can generate a new one for you based on your need so yeah that's it from here and if i go back there you will see this one you can copy that and paste that here again so here i have added name and everything if you want to modify this much more than this you can also do that it's all up to you and you can see there are uh, like hover scale effect animation effect everything like the glow effect show icon effect you can enable that or disable that and all the properties you can play around with that to make it more perfect for now it's not if you feel it's not perfect you can utilize everything to make it more like professional in look so yeah that's it and i will share the link so you can use that and if you face any issue you can share with me and i will try my best to assist and you can comment that on my video so yeah have a good time bye